My name's Sean Connolly, chef restaurateur, and I love to find out where my food and wine comes from. I'm here at Stonely Vineyards to meet Jamie, the winemaker. He's got some lovely wild fermented wines for me to try and a challenge for me. Okay, Sean, I've got Stony Wild Valley Sauvignon Blanc. I want you to go out into the wild, find some produce to actually match with this wonderful wine. Uh -huh. It's got great aromatics, peaches, nectarines, and it's got this textural element which comes from the wild fermentation. Well, for me, Jamie, it's got a really lovely creamy mouthfeel, a very clean flavour. I can't wait to see what I can find out there in the wild for you, Jamie. Yeah, me too. Come on. Hanging with Jamie and understanding so much more about wild fermentation Sauvignon Blanc, it really made me understand about the clean, textural breadth of flavour. I thought of a perfect match. My friend Helen's buffalo mozzarella. Helen, Hello, how are you Shane. going? Hi. Nice to see you again. This is beautiful down here, Helen. Yeah, we're lucky. Um, we're right on top of Umafuya Beach. The, the sea air comes in. I like to think it flavours our cheese, along with, of course, this wonderful pasta, you know, rye and clover, all sorts of different grasses. Make it special. They're free to range, and you just get a lovely layered quality mm. to the flavour of the cheese. They're just wildly majestic, aren't they? And it's hard to think that from these big animals, you're going to get this beautiful, sweet cheese at the Delicate end. Delicate milk, I know. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? So, Helen, it's real unusual to see buffalo in New Zealand. Surely that's rare. Yeah, well, we were the first ones to, to milk them here. Those animals originate from uh, herds that followed Genghis Khan from Asia through Europe. You couldn't get more wild than that, could you, really? No. <laughs> but I'd love to go and start cooking. Come on, I'll show you what we're going to do. What a nice uh, spot over here. Now, today I'm going to do a pear salad with buffalo mozzarella, and Helen's gone off to get me some while I'm here cooking. I'm going to start with my pear salad. First of all, we just slice the pear up into wedges. I've got a nice hot pan there. Pop in our pears. I'm going to chop up some fennel. The fennel's got that really lovely, clean aniseed flavour. Beautiful fennel in there. And then we're going to put in our frisé lettuce. And I think that's going to go really well with a wild fermented Sauvignon Blanc. I'm going to pop in a little bit of chilli, a little bit of spice. What I love about this dish is it's really textural. Some honey. Bit of lemon. You can see the pears roasting in the pan. They're caramelizing nicely. I just can't wait to show Helen this dish. Hi, Sean. Hey, Helen, how are you going? Got some cheese for you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Been roasting oh, these pears. They look beautiful. You can smell that honey and chili. Mm. Looks great. Thank you. So are you a ripper or a slicer? Ripper, it's quicker. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just love how rustic it is and organic, you know what I mean? I love the look of ripped mm. mozzarella. Thank there you. you. Go. Wow, that is amazing, so textural. And the perfect match. That's great. Challenge complete, Jamie.